play this and sing at the same time.
I come from a country far across the sea where all of the people are alright. That's why all the people are always calling me the international delight. I may not have a satchel, but then again I might, and I'm unfailingly polite. That's why all the people me in their sights say there's the international delight with his friend pucker tart lemon squeeze and his friend to the beaver bee and our other friends like Say the international, he's rarely irrational. He may not have a satchel, he's the international delight. He's had enough.
explain Darling, baby, it was way back in December But they won't say hello Just a pocket in line. We go 
does. Hey, John, this yellow, sodium yellow. Time's like a ship, but you won't say hello. song of mine. This, is, this song is like from 2003. I haven't played it in ages. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. I called you Palin, but you claimed that you was not. You said you gave up tanking for the good of the lot. Water plants too cloudy in the core. Pump. That other kissing couple on a When you won't say hello Play a song in ages. It looked like you were having fun. Yeah, it's a good song. I like it. it you know, it's like it, I forget about my old songs all the time. I heard a song today. I recorded not just a few weeks ago. I totally forgotten about it already. You had to bed. Not right this instant, but pretty soon. You want to talk? Yeah, let's talk Famously. a little. Let's talk a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about fairnessliness and. I wanna, I wanna talk a little bit because I uh, earlier after after you had gotten off, I I went back to check to see the uh, the status of the. Um, of the uh, the dick pic debate video, seeing how that was faring, and that's when I saw uh, Barry's comment, and I was very close, very close to creating my own piao piao, and then I was like, oh shit, Eric already made a piao piao. <laughs> yeah, it took me all oh, five seconds after I saw that fucking comment. <sighs> Do you think I successfully piaoed it or what? I was actually surprised you got like two dislikes so far. Your PL video. Really? Yeah. Probably both Barry. I I wasn't gonna say it. But I Yeah, I, I don't know what it was. It was like, I think it was the, I think it was the, uh, overbearing themes of F.I. in his comment that chapped my ass. Ken, I'm tired of this banality from you, frankly. This uh -huh. conversation topic is not fancy enough. Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was specifically the introducting statement which is this channel gets more and more retarded you know as soon as it starts off only only level-headed gold is gonna come after <laughs> a statement started with that what? and then feeling a bit disgusted 
I personally, the closest I ever come to feeling disgusted in my life is when people just throw around the term disgusted. <laughs> He's experiencing disgust, Ken. He's experienced a lot of disgust because of the horrors that are going on here. I'm not, yeah. He said, I'm feeling a bit disgusted. I don't know what he was particularly referring to. He did post the comment on this particular video. Uh, as far as the video that you made, I'm talking about the, uh, the dick pic debate video. I don't perceive any metaphysical harms that have I don't perceive any metaphysical harms having been done to anyone so I don't see how disgust could be warranted in that case unless he's referring to some other situation where there's right. some sort of how do you phrase it ontological violence yeah, I, I think he's positioning it as as being aghast that I thought this was a bastion of intellectualism. Well, intellectualism takes a lot of different shapes and sizes. And, you know. I thought it was interesting. I, I almost felt like making a Piao Piao video, but then having the second half of the video, like, uh, instead of having that process of being like, do the pow pow, and then later be like, I'm sorry for the pow pow. I just didn't want to have to apologize, so I wanted to do full on pow, and then follow it up with uh, just very accommodating, very level-headed, sort of like, just being like, well, I know that you're saying, Barry, that I, you don't like the idea of it just being teenagers smoking pot and talking about tits in Call of Duty, but if you ever wanted to come on here and talk about your recreational drug habits, your sexual preferences, or your personal interest in video games, this is a place to do it. Well, Ken, what I was thinking is it's a cry for help. He wants mm -hmm. somebody to talk to him about Call of Duty and some tits mm -hmm. at the same time. That's why I'm going to talk with you right now about my new game idea. It's just Call of Duty. Call, call the well, no, it's just regular Call of Duty, except they graphically went and they put tits on all the people in the game. Just, uh, just outside their I, uniforms, just a big pair of tits hanging out of the, the off the outside of the uniforms. What do you think, Barry? You like that? That. Sophia's on board. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't play that? Barry, Barry would love that. So, mm -hmm. I do smoke a lot of pot. I don't talk about it a whole hell of a lot. But you smoke a lot of pot. You're basically just a really old teenager, anyway. And we've seen your tits, so they're they're fucking sweet. They're sweet. Perky. It's a cup, but they're the the most voluptuous a cups you'll ever see. They're the bee's knees. Let me tell you what. Mm -hmm. And no, Barry, you yeah. can't see them. You can't touch them either. Why? Because you said mean things to me. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know how I would work it in, but I was I was tempted to make some sort of a statement like something something about the skill of his TI and how I'm sure his house is just littered with participation medals. <laughs> well, that's pretty funny. That's a good one. Of course, it really the thing the reason I like that joke is because you miss. You mislead me. The proper joke is the condition of his SE and how his house is just littered with participation medals. But because you misled me with the TI, and when you came in with the participation medals, it totally caught me by surprise. Um, anyway, you got that joke in, though, because we're recording right now. I'm recording on, on my end. So all of your... If I had made a PFL video, I would have said this stuff. Now you get to have said it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like making making videos like that. It's it's not about the one sidedness that it's like. It's not really that I have a problem with it. I just get bored and my attention drifts very quickly. So I prefer to have a conversation and like in real time bounce things off of people. Right. Yeah, I agree. Barry was wrong. I mean, I think this conversation right here is proof positive of it. When you came on and I saw your your cheerful face, I thought, I thought, oh, cool. 
Uh, Ken's here. Let's let's chit chat about something. Let's see what Ken wants to talk about. Because why? Because this is nice. This is pleasant. It's not fucking maybe a Mensa test all the time. He doesn't feel left out. He he comes around every once in a while and holds you, you court. Have to, you, you'd have to show up and then be pushed out to be left out. That would require showing up first. Yeah. First of all, we have a rule around here, you know, Sophina. It's infinite second chances. For almost everything, except for a, there are a couple of things that I would not be able to tolerate, but it's so. I, I've actually exercised the infinite second chances maybe more times than anyone else. The thing is, you don't catch it with me because I never have the leaving process. I just show up the next day like nothing happened. Mm. That's what I do. So, we I don't actually know you were taking a chance there. You're the only one who knows. Right. Totally flies under the radar of everyone else. Oh. It's clever. That's a smart way of going about it. About taking chances. I take yeah, risks that nobody else perceives play. as risks. Okay. That's smart. Um, but yeah, I mean, the thing about Barry is I always enjoyed his his contributions and that he had things to contribute, but we're not always necessarily parsing out intellectual theories. Sometimes we're talking about our lives. Sometimes we're talking about chicks. Sometimes we're talking about whatever. Because why? We're human beings, not INTP-pleasing machines. No offense to Unify. I feel bad about tossing Unify over the INTPs because I have nothing but the most positive imaginable experience with Unify. And, um, you know, I... I tend to think when I talk about the INTPs, I'm referring to certain specific ones, but I just kind of loop them all together. Another INTP I have nothing but good experiences with is Luna, who's kind of hilarious uh, with her with her hardcore fucking TI TI Nazi. She's a TI Nazi. <laughs> yeah, she's super heavy. TI. How do you know she's an INTP? She might just be TI. I guess you be only one cognitive function. I am pure TI. Uh, TI and some clear SI. <coughs> so, yeah. You know what? One thing I think. It got, it got me. Go ahead. You want me to go or you I was go? Gonna say, it got me, uh, just that comment though, it got me thinking like that. You go back to that statement he had made, like feeling a bit disgusted. It's like, that whole thing, it's, you know, I already mentioned it's like something about that <coughs> comment that I'm, I'm never quite sure how people get to the point to where they're like, yes, I'm basically holding this thing in contempt. It's like, I, I mean, to, first of all, it seems he must have had a lot of expectations in place before you're going to do that. So he has to have felt either as though I really let him down in some way by being different than he expected the channel to be, or that um, he feels as though I've defrauded him in some way. I, I don't know. Maybe he just felt like being a dick. But I'm a bad one to be a dick at. It's like trying to stick your dick in a hornet's nest. Yeah, exactly. Oops. <laughs> this is the, the right place for this. Most, most holes that size work fine. This one, not so much. What I think is interesting is, I saw Safina for the first time today. She said she was here yesterday, but she's been here an awful lot since. Which is what I see in general is that if somebody if somebody comes once or twice and likes it, they immediately go into full blast mode. Yeah, 
the same thing with the Roman Empire. He's been here a lot. And Cotto obviously has been here basically nonstop, it seems, when he's not working since he discovered the place. I like that aspect of things a lot, that, that it's, it's addictive, you know? Thanks, Safina. And so I guess uh, one thing I want to touch on is that with that whole, like with, with that initial video, I did have a certain amount of concern that there was too much of that going on, which I know I know in your Cow Cow video you kind of touched on that, how it's like this doesn't occur all the time in terms of the videos being made. It's like this is occasional thing I still had the concern initially that you know maybe it's like too much in some way um and so I can definitely say that on a very personal sort of FI level if I'd relate it to a function uh seeing Barry's comment it immediately triggered like personal for me it wasn't like oh I have so many T.I., like, the, I, I'm noticing so many T.I. discrepancies immediately. I was like, you fucking what? <laughs> like, right off the bat. So, so, okay, so maybe mine was a little overboard is what you're saying. Is this your way of fixing that? We're talking about me? Yeah. I don't think I'm fixing anything. Well, I mean, uh, you're kind of fixing it if you help, if you're like, let's take a little bit of, of, pre-accountability for going a little overboard to prevent that line of attack, you know? Or spike it out. That line of attack, can you rephrase that? Well, you, I'm saying, are you basically saying, I was a little concerned, Eric, that your Pia Pia video went a little hard. Uh, and if that's the case, then maybe you're saying, so let's address that right now so that it will solve the problem of being perceived as coming too hard. Yeah, I wasn't even referring to your video. Oh, I thought you were saying mine was too too much pia pia. Um, I was saying my initial reaction was clearly FI for me. It wasn't like my initial... Oh, okay. I had to, I was in the shower having to think of ways, okay, how do I make this sound like I'm giving a shit logically? <laughs> um, yeah, that, that was that's pretty much my process. Is I have an emotional reaction to something, and I'm like, ah, fuck, I gotta make this palatable to other people. <laughs> How did I even think about it? I just immediately started recording. Be like, what the, what the fuck is this? <laughs> 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 you know, that's all that happened. Is I just said that, and then I just started making a video. Yeah, for you, the, the only, the only, it's it's. I have the same comments. Every every pia pia video for you. I'm like, stop calling people moron, Eric. You don't need to. You're winning the argument. You're just like, it's the wrong kind of icing. You're like, look at this beautiful cake, and then you smear shit on top of it. Like, isn't it delicious? And it's like, it's, it's not icing. It's not icing, Eric. I, I like to throw in a little. I like throwing a little shaming in there, Ken. Uh, a little shaming with the cake. The, the issue I I realized I couldn't be totally on board with your pia pia video. Uh -huh. Because that shaming thing is exactly what I didn't like what Barry was doing. Is that whole thing of like that sort of tisk tisk. <laughs> I know he started it. <laughs> I do understand that. That was one of the things I thought about if I had made a Pow Pow video is that it was just gonna be the first half of me going on an FI rant. <laughs> I can't believe I just can't believe it. <laughs> I just can't believe. I mean, like, uh, I was gonna, I mean, if, uh, fuck, I'll do, it, I'll do it now. Just the whole starting of the sentence with retarded. It's like, it's not that we're retards. It just so happens that what we produce and put out into the world is tantamount to retardation. In the same way, Barry is not a retarded individual. It just so happens that the shit that leaves his mouth more often than not seems to be to the degree of retardation. Do I have any evidence of this? No, it's personal opinion, just like Barry was using. Well, I, I, the, the, the key all. thing about it, though, is this. It's the... Every time I check back, it's, been get, it's getting, getting more and more retarded. Okay, so he's not only claiming that it, it's... 
was retarded. It, it's it, progressively. It's progressively getting increasingly retarded over time, and he's he's course, done. No citation. No, he's no citation, but any sort of. he does he does provide a citation of a sort by when he says I visited often to check. Basically, he's like when when you say. Every time I come back here, it's getting more and more retarded. It implies that you come back and check frequently, and every time, oh, it's even getting worse this time. But that's obviously not the case. You know, he's, if it were the case that he were up to date on what was going on, then you'd understand that it's about the same spread of videos it's always been. He just didn't like that one. And he he probably didn't even watch it. (laughs) I don't know. Show up in the video. We may have been. It, I mean, you, you struggled a bit with a the thumbnail there for a while, and I was like, Eric. <laughs> well, I, I'm not Eric really Eric. thrilled with this thumbnail either, but. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, but my, my whole thing was, uh, as I've said before, it's it's uh, I, I'm operating off of things being consensual, so I didn't like the whole thumbnail thing. So I was like, eh, it's a little in your face. I don't like that. I don't like how it's just sort of there. Well, you know, what, Ken, that's a that was a simple mistake on my part in the sense that I was aiming for a thumbnail that would draw views, and I don't think I succeeded in that. And you know, it wasn't it wasn't because I was being stubborn about the notion of doing that as a vision. It was that I just it just I thought it was going to be a good idea, and it didn't work really. Sometimes that happens. I do find myself uh, sort of hesitating mentally because it's like I've gotten some feedback from people that it's like seriously you're bringing this up again like that sort of thing for what um, my, my package situation my downstairs mix up well it's, um, it's it's worth noting there's a lot of meaning to be made out of it for one thing I mean it's an unusual storyline. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's funny because uh, as I was saying, it's like I, I have some hesitation, but it's like I'm torn because it's like there's that whole social dynamic of I'm like, oh, I don't want to, you know, make the environment shitty for other people, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not hurting a single one of you. No, nobody's <laughs> bothered by it at all. But here's the thing: I want you to to tell a prospective mate of some sort, say, hey, I want to tell you a little bit more about my unusual storyline. Mm-hmm. And then you kind of just look down at your crotch, see what she says. <laughs> what do you mean unusual storyline? Well, come here, let me show you a thing too. And then let's, I, let's bring up intercourse one, one, one after. comment. Sorry to cut, cut off your story. It sounded like it would have been wonderful. Um, so, one thing I would like to say about TWFP and it not being retarded is ever since I joined here, specifically in the last month or so, I've upped the ante on some things. Let me tell you what. I went from, you know, social hero to, I mean, social zero to pretty much, you know, doing shit other people were like no I would not do that if I was drunk some of the things I did sober some of the other things I did when I was drunk Ken let me tell you this you are poster boy for success here at Talking with Famous People you're Dr. Lionel's Printing Wolf Kazakos number one client (laughs) (laughs) Dr. Sprinting Wolf Dr. Lionel's Sprinting Wolf Kazako is such an amazing teacher I never even had a session with them, and I'm benefiting so much. You totally, you totally are. The first session is him just being like, so what do you think? <laughs> so right off the bat. First session, Dr. Dr. Kazakuo comes in, he says, sit, sit, right there, in that chair. And then he lights a cigarette, and he walks around you, and he looks at you a bunch. And he shakes yes, his head, he goes, yes. <laughs> he goes, Ah. Crawling cop, and he walks around you some more, blows smoke at you. 
Is this working for you? I don't think so. Walks around and says, um, can, are we down? Shh. I am working. You know if I have any nigga points in my head? Is that my first 30 or? I 31. Like no, you got one the other 64. day. Shit, I'm at 64. Oh. It seems like the market sort of inflated them, so. I gave you I'm one. Gonna rack up some. I gave you one earlier for that joke. Oh. Um. I didn't tell you, but I'm giving him letting you know now. That's sixty five, so I'm a little more chintzy with, with those points than, than you are, you know, Fly. Yeah. I only have like three or four of them to give away. I give you speech uh -huh. team points, though. How about that? You want speech team points? Yeah, I'll fucking yeah. take speech, speech team, team points. Speech team points? Fuck yeah. I want to do... Uh, I want to I wanna get better... Like, I want to get more points than any of your students by doing things not like a debate... Like, not like a debater would. Well, they get debate points. They don't get speech team points. Oh, uh, okay. That's something different, though. That, that yeah. works. Yours is an equivalent. I, I believe the exchange rate is like 1.5 to 1. You have to have 1.5 like speech, speech points. Speech team should be like 1. I mean, like, it should be like 5 points, and then the debate point is 1. It's 1.5 1. to 1. It's, look, 1. 1.5 to 1 is more of a ratio than you think, because it means you got to get 3 speech points just to get 2 to, uh, to transfer into 2 debate points. It's hard. Okay. Yeah. Talked to Taylor earlier tonight, and talked to him about getting him onto doing the one of the rap rap verses, or ideally two of them if he writes one. I wrote one for him, but if he writes one, I have two of them. I would like to get that recorded, and it will be a challenge to get him to to do it right or to make it sound good because it takes a little bit of practice. You think he would, huh? Well, I don't know. I mean, it, he's not he's not done it before. Even if he's naturally talented at it, it still takes a little bit of of putting the handle on, you know? He does. That's true. He probably wraps along with it in the car and stuff. And I wonder if Basemon is going to make a bass thing for that song. That'd be cool. We get Ken to sing on it, too. We're going to do that. It'll be a full-on collab. <laughs> 